the American Nuclear Society present head presidential citation award about Fukushima, Japan rapid response presented to wait for it, this shady character Daily Klein. Listen to what a scumbag the Japanese want to advise them supposedly independently on nuclear matters. He will be a one of five member of the team. Here's what the award said. In recognition of his contributions to the response to events in Fukushima, Japan in order to ensure credible nuclear science and technology information was provided to the media. Wait a fucking minute. The media has not done shit to report this. Anyway, he informed the fucking media, decision makers and general public. Holy crap. This Dale character is one of only five guys who is going to serve as an independent panel on Japan's Nuclear Advisory Committee. The article goes on to say, it is the dedication of members such as Dale Klein who enable the society to be relevant and a strong advocate for the nuclear community as a whole. Dated June 2011. So really, he's not independent. He won't inform the media decision makers or the general public of anything as he has not informed anyone of anything critical to date. If he warned anyone, it was only the IAEA or the NRC, because clearly, the media and general public has not heard crap about Fukushima. It's a clear case of good old boys cover up for the nuclear industry. The big question on everyone's mind is what does Klein think of the evolving circumstances at Fukushima Klein's observation is that the accident at Fukushima demonstrates that nuclear events are seen by the public differently than coal or natural gas. No fucking shit. No fucking shit. Oh my god. Let me compose myself before I blow a battery. It's a reminder that whatever happens at one nuclear power station has worldwide impacts. Some of the issues that have to be dealt with coming out of Fukushima include managing safety and security for multiple reactors at the same site knowing who is in charge in an emergency, understanding what happens in the beyond design basis event. One of Klein's observations is that we are early in the process of determining what is a lesson learned from Fukushima. We have too much data and not enough information. Information, Klein said. We have too much data and not enough information. Did I hear that correctly? Oh my god. Did he really say that? They have too much data and not enough information? Okay. Let's continue with some more bullshit. However, he added that there are some changes already taking place in Japan that make sense. I support Japan's plan to move the Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency out from under the Trade Ministry to independent status. Wait a damn minute Mr. Klein, you are not independent by any stretch of the imagination. So take your brown nose lolling head out of your ass. Let's continue reading this sickening article. I support seeing its technical capability to carry out an independent oversight role as an important contribution to Japan's future use of nuclear energy, Klein said. Miss Milky, pull out the bullshit button now. There is absolutely nothing and I mean nothing independent about this rat. The wool has been pulled over the public's eyes once again. It's a damn shell game, for Pete's sake. On top of that, another member of this so-called independent committee of only five members is from the diet the Japanese government. So, two out of five members are NOT independent. I don't know who the other three characters on the panel of five are. But if this is considered independent, I call bullshit big time. I figured I would have gotten into trouble somehow. Sometimes you gotta say what the fuck.
Located in the Arizona desert, Thalberg Bird is the only nuclear generating facility in the world that is not situated adjacent to a large body of above ground water. The facility evaporates water from the treated sewage of several nearby municipalities to meet its cooling needs. Well, my name is uh, Dale Klein. I'm the former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to work with uh, TEPCO as a uh, independent advisory committee member looking at the accident of Fukushima. As we all know, Fukushima had a lot of impact worldwide. It's very important that the citizens of Japan and the world understands what happened, what actions can be taken to make nuclear power safer, how we can meet our energy needs for the world. And so this opportunity to participate with TEPCO and with the citizens of Japan is an opportunity that I hope I can contribute both to the educational activities, safety culture, safety programs to make our energy more reliable, safe, secure for the citizens of Japan and where we can take lessons learned from this accident to apply them worldwide so that nuclear power can continue to play an important, safe and secure role of our energy needs. Well, Mr. Chairman, thank you for taking the time to talk with us today at the uh, Women in Nuclear Conference. Um, why do you think it was so important to take time out of your schedule and fly across the country to come to this conference? Well, one of the reasons is a part of the self-interest. You know, one of the reasons is a part of the self-interest. You know, for us to succeed and for us to succeed as a regulator, we need to get more women in the field. So part is talent. And part is just to explain better what we do as a regulator. Well, that, yeah, that's, that's great. I, I heard a lot of talk today about workforce issues, uh, especially as we're moving forward building new plants, hopefully. And uh, especially as we're moving forward building new plants, hopefully, and, and uh, people retiring. And you mentioned bringing more women into the industry. Uh, how is the NRC working to bring more women into the regulatory agency? One of the things that I've found from my university days that we've been better at getting more women in is make it a comfortable place to work. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of uh, other activities that make the NRC a good place to work. Daycare centers, quality of life, telecommuting. So we look at a variety of things of what makes us a good place to work. So that implies for both men and women. But I think particularly for women, things like a daycare center. Yeah, well that's important to me. I have a young son, so I understand that. Uh, also, every single speaker today used the word renaissance. What does that mean to you? I think the renaissance means that we're going to start building new nuclear plants. I think the renaissance means that we're going to start building new nuclear plants. The rate at which we build them will depend on demand and how successful we are. But I think the fact that nuclear is recognized as a component of our electrical generation and nuclear will be a part of that. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We've reached the maximum allotment of high-quality digital content and up-to-the-minute information the human brain can adequately process. Yeah.